when Prince William visited Santa Claus he revealed what George really wants for Christmas four-year-old Prince George is third in line to the throne of Great Britain so does he even need to write a Christmas list well it turns out that he does moreover his loving father Prince William is luckily in a position to be able to deliver the list to Santa Claus personally but has the little royal been naughty or nice this year and what does he want for a present when Prince George was born in July of 2013 it was into a much more modern royal family than any that had come before them gone it seemed were these stuffy traditions of the past it hadn't been that long since royal children were supposed to be seen and not heard but that it all changed in the past royal children were essentially seen as smaller adults in her earlier years Queen Elizabeth II would shake the hands of her young children rather than hug them it was Princess Diana Williams mother who turned all that on its head she insisted on raising her children herself and even took them out to theme parks and beaches like regular parents did no matter how good your parents are however growing up as a royal isn't always easy in today's social media age every photo of Prince George that the paparazzi take is dissected and analyzed and sometimes laughed at for instance whenever George throws a tantrum in public as kids his age often do photos of it may be online within minutes of course there are many good things about being a royal child too George and his younger sister Princess Charlotte have gotten to see more of the world in their handful of years than many people will in a lifetime and in September 2017 he started his education at the prestigious and very expensive Thomas Battersea School in London and while Christmas is an exciting event for most children it's a very exciting one for royal kids every Christmas the Queen invites the whole family to her imposing Sandringham estate in Norfolk what's more the children get to open their presents a day early on Christmas Eve though the Royals are surrounded by finery at their luxurious estate apparently the only gifts that the adults give each other are jokey ones after all what do you buy for people who pretty much have everything already well according to British tabloid the Sun silly gifts such as toilet seats are popular William and Kate always make sure that their children are dressed impeccably for the Christmas service and for Royal Christmas cards they release one every year and 2017's edition saw the family smiling happily together while wearing matching blue just as is the case with their mother anything that George and Charlotte are photographed wearing tends to sell out in stores very quickly indeed so Prince George's Christmases are always picture thing pendants and while checking out a Christmas market in Helsinki's Esplanade Park he stumbled across a very familiar face it was father Christmas himself and Prince William had a letter for him he pulled the note out of his suit and handed it over I've seen you and I had to give you this letter cameras captured him saying the letter was from George and it was a homemade Christmas wish list the photographers craned their necks to get a closer look and found that it was utterly adorable at the top George had carefully circled nice when asked if he had been naughty or nice he's been a nice boy a nice boy William told Santa who nodded interestingly the printed part of the letter had space for five gift requests but George had only asked for one in the space for present three he may not have fully grasped numbers yet George had written police car he hasn't written down many requests so I think one request is probably okay said William toy police cars are popular gifts for young boys and can be found in most toy shops but this interest of George's may actually be something he's picked up from his dad because back when he was a child himself Prince William dreamed of being a police officer a long time ago I wanted to be a policeman when I was younger the Prince told a 10 year old cancer patient in 2009 when visiting a London hospital I soon learned that probably wasn't a good idea an old anecdote claims that when the young Prince William announced his intentions to join the police his little brother Harry told him that he couldn't as William had to be king and Prince George too will most likely be king one day but being an heir to the throne doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have other interests or even other jobs Prince William actually did end up joining the emergency services just not as a policeman from 2015 to 2017 he served as an air ambulance pilot and donated his paycheck to charity such considerations are a long way off for Prince George however at the moment his parents are focused on making sure that he has a normal childhood as possible according to William this year George took part in a school nativity play 
and he didn't play any of the kings. He played a sheep. While in Finland, William received a gift for George, although it wasn't a police car. Finnish officials from a children's campaign called Brave Enough to Ride presented the prince with two hobby horses. They're a very popular toy in Finland, and two of them would be going back to Britain as presents for George and Charlotte. In fact, Prince George has been given countless gifts from well-wishers and ambassadors over the years. Some of the most memorable include a large cuddly wombat from the Governor General of Australia, a lapis lazuli orb from the Pope, a tiny pilot's jacket from the Canadian government, and an actual baby crocodile that currently lives in an aquarium. Prince William, though, has sometimes shown concern about all the presents that George has given. In 2016, he was heard telling a young boy at a sporting event that Prince George had received too many gifts. What did he get for his birthday? I'm not telling, William said, before confessing that he thought George had been far too spoiled. As an heir to the throne, George is going to have to learn how to be charitable. The royal family actually supports hundreds of charities and devote both time and money to all of them. Consequently, it seems that young royals should be taught the importance of sharing. So perhaps George's parents will tone things down this year. There is one gift that we know for sure he'll be getting, though, a new brother or sister. Kate Middleton is pregnant for the third time, and the baby is due in April of 2018. Hopefully, Prince George will find his new playmate even more fun than a toy police car. Please share this video with your friends below.